Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.Core and uh, this is the next video tutorial of vehicle uh, rental vehicle system in ESP.Core. So here we have a vehicle rental project.wab and here I'm just going to add that is the index page where we have some extra uh, uh, stuff here like a vehicle uh, price, vehicle available, uh, availability like vehicle color and that is actually not uh, displaying on the image uh, on the index file file uh, so just i'm going to uh, delete this like the vehicle price from here and the rent price is actually visible uh, for the user but uh, just removed it from here and just add some actions uh, related data like uh, you can say uh, it's a basic thing to add it here like uh, td and uh, that is the edit detail and delete uh, action methods okay so after uh, adding this you have to just create a action method for your uh, vehicle rental project okay so that is the part of the admin okay so now just i'm going to create area for this page Now after that, uh, just add uh, some links uh, to the home page in your vehicle rental project in the layout.css file. And here we have some uh, extra things to add it here, like uh, add uh, right here for the login details. So for the user actually, so register and the login links is there in the partial page. So partial name equals to login partial page and where you can see that register and the login button is visible on your right sidebar.
So after adding the authentication and authorization middleware in, in your program.cs file, you have to add map razor pages. So by using the map razor pages, you have to uh, add some specific things to related to the map razor pages. So uh, and also you have to add service like builder.services.add razor pages. Okay, so here we have a builder dot services dot add razor pages like that, and and here we have some options builder dot services dot add razor pages. Now you can see that login and register uh, will work correctly. Now after that you have to add the role for your website and the uh, configurations okay so so you can see that register and the login button will be work correctly now when we click on the register button and similarly with the login button that is correct uh, correctly working now just go for the next section that is db initializer class and in the db initializer class you can see so uh, first of all close all these things and add a new db initializer interface in the repositories so data seeding is a part of this type so add a new folder and with the folder name that is data seeding and in the seeding you have to add a new user as well as the roles for the project in the vehicle rental management system we have only two pro, uh, roles that is admin and the customer and uh, just i'm going to add some extra features for related to the customers that is uh, in, in which we have to add and the single method that is initialize method and in the initialize method just I'm going to add uh, that is the new thing uh, to IDB initializer so here we have new empty file you have to create it that is a DB initializer and inherited the DB initializer with the IDB initializer and in which you can add user manager role manager as well as the application DB context Okay, so after adding the application DB context here, you can just use IDB initial, uh, you can use uh, database.getPendingMigrations. Just pick up that get pending migration, you have to, is greater than zero, that, that means it is uh, pending is migration for the update database command. Now after that, you have to create a new application user as well as with the identity role. And if I, admin role is not created, you have to just add it here and also customize the identity by using add identity method that is application user and identity role okay so here we have options options dot sign in required confirmation account that is true okay so here we have a add entity framework store and add default token provider right here okay now after that you you can uh, add some roles like uh, admin and customer in db initializer initialize method as well as create a admin user in the db initializer class
Okay, so after adding some uh, application user in the DB initializer class, you have to add uh, that uh, that thing in the in the program.cs file. And uh, before doing this, first of all, add migrations and new migration you have to apply. Okay, so here we have a add dash migration and the migration name that is okay so everything is clear now add migration that is change identity and also change the default project that is vehicle rental to web to repository okay so here we have a add dash migration change identity and like that okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to book uh, car rental uh, management system and here we have a update database command and if you like this video please subscribe my channel also and press the hit like button and uh, also you have to purchase this uh, membership by uh, using to join the channel and get the benefits of the code thank you guys for watching this video